Okay, I'm down in the crawl space. I'm looking at where I can put some trunk duct here on this job. And there is a return that's gonna transition to 12 and run over here to the unit. There's gonna be a return duct coming off the back of that. Supply duct off the front. I know I have one boot over there, which is a 90 degree. There's a six, an eight. So if we say 120 CFM, the six is 80 CFM. That six over there is 80 CFM. That takes us to 280. We have an eight way over there. It's gonna put us at 400. And this one over here is gonna put us at 520. So we're gonna need the equivalent of like a 12 inch round or 12 inch square duct, one of those. And these are all gonna to have to reach. That one is way out there. But I think it'd probably reach over here. I'm trying to get as many things as simple as possible. And it looks like we have one, two, sixes, and three eights here. So the three eights, like I said, 360, 180. Sorry. All right, that's duck number one. Could be a 12 by 12. Technically, I guess it could be like a 10 by 12, but 12 by 12 probably, just to give it that extra oof. Looking back at that same area from a different angle here, I think 10 foot of 12 would probably work. And I think this one over here would actually reach as well. All right, so this is what you gotta kind of figure up while you're on these jobs. So I have 12 inch flex run over here, if I can find some, and uh, come all the way back to the trunk. But then there's another return, it's gonna crisscross through here, so I gotta figure that out too. Now I'm sitting about 20 foot away. I was over there, that's toward the front of the house, and there's the unit itself. So I gotta figure where this return is going to go because if it drops down it's panned and there's a plumbing pipe like right there i don't know if they realize that good grief i didn't realize that either stupid plumbing pipe oh such is life so assuming i could still wedge it in there with some flex which i should be able to and not lose too much volume or probably not lose any volume it's got to come down and run right where i'm sitting and somehow make it to the back of the air handler. Maybe go around the front of the air handler. Probably would be the best way. So if it comes through here, like comes through here, runs that way, then goes straight behind the back of the air handler and goes into that box in the back, I think we can make that work. We just have to bring the supply that's going this way, that 12 inch round underneath it somehow or just weave around it or do something. But we might be able to do that because even if that air handler has a duct that comes straight off of it, that's the exact size, like 12 by 20 or whatever that is, 12 by 20, 12 by 18, comes straight out. We should be able to cheat the collar toward the bottom, maybe get that flex over the top. I don't want it to do anything like put a transition duct over the top of it, like a 12 by eight, or it'd be larger than that actually, like a 14 or 16 by eight because it's just a pain in the buttocks. They cost a ton of money. You lose a lot of velocity because it's like having two bullhead tees on something unless you want to blow it out on both ends in case you want to spend your whole day making one piece of duct, which no one wants that. No one wants to build a duct for a day or an hour or whatever. So I had to figure that out. Maybe there's enough room. Maybe I can transition the box like down slightly, like put a little step down on it, which is also a pain in the butt. We shall see. Might be okay. Probably be okay. It'll be alright. But I'm sitting over here because there's a lot more duck work over here. There's sixes. There's one, two sixes. There's a six right there. Off in the distance, there's a four. You can see the duck work right here for the four. And uh, just got to figure out where all those go. So let me take a look at those real quick. This is where I was sitting during the last video and I was facing toward where I'm sitting now. So I'm looking out, there's the crawl space access and stuff. There's one lone boot over there. It's not critical if that one's long. It's not the only one in the room that it's serving. So if we were to, where I'm at, put some flex going to a trunk like it turns here, and the trunk heads that way so we can catch all those flexes down there. It only has to go a little bit past that plumbing pipe. So we could have 10 foot of 12 going this way and it would actually catch I believe that one right there is long enough to run up here and go into the 12 right here. 
you're supposed to clear an elbow by a little bit before you put another run or another top hat coming off of it. But I think we'll have enough room to do that. And then we could just catch this one across. But it would just come right this way. So that would be pretty easy. Now, I think that would catch all of them in this house. So let's see if that actually works out. If we have a six over here, that's 80. Another six. And we're going to use nominal just to get a rough idea here. So don't be too critical because it, uh, it may not be perfect. Another 80 right there. That's going to be 160. We have the one going up closest to us right there beyond that Y in the plumbing is a six. That's in the restroom, and that's going to take us to 240. And then the next one is going to be a four way over there in the corner, and that'll take us to 290. Then two more sixes is going to take us to, see, that's another 160. So that's going to take us to four, 290 to four. I don't know why I can't do math, but I'm trying to remember. 160 plus 290 is 450. So we are at 450, which is still above a 10 nominally, even if... Uh, it's a hard pipe, so we're looking at a 12, and it's a three-ton system, so two 12s is right about where we'd be. Sometimes you'll oversize them to get a lower static, but I found if you stick to the two 12s for a three, especially if most of it's hard pipe on the trunk side, which some of it will be, some of it won't, we should be pretty good. So that's generally what we're looking at, the 12s on both ends. I think we'll be able to get away with that, and we're going to have to have a couple more boxes of 12-inch flex, which will be hard to find. But that might make life a little bit easier for all involved. And there's some venting too. That dryer vent down there will have to be completed in advance or else it'll be hard to reach. And there's some bath fans around here somewhere. I don't even remember where they're at. It's just a big mess. But uh, that is a viable solution that might get us a good system and not be too killer as far as a one-man show installing it and going ahead and getting it done uh, more quickly.